So now that we've discussed all of the theory of how to use Arduino hardware to construct a DCC base station, let's see how the parts all fit together in reality. Once again, we start with the Arduino Uno. Remember that this connector here is for the USB cable. And when it's plugged in, it provides power to the board, as you can see from the yellow and green LEDs. This is the motor shield, and it generally plugs in right on top of the Arduino. But before we do so, there is one small modification recommended by Arduino that we need to make. Don't worry, it doesn't require any soldering. Recall that these terminals here allow you to connect a power supply directly to the motor shield, and it's that supply that will be used to power the output channels. For my N-scale layout, I have found that trains operate best at 15 volts, which is well within the allowable limit for voltage applied to the motor shield. So I'm going to use a 15 volt supply that can provide 1000 milliamps of current, which is more than sufficient to operate seven N-scale trains. However, as an added convenience, the motor shield also feeds whatever voltage you supply through these terminals back down to the Arduino. I say that this is for convenience because it means that the Uno receives power even if you unplug the USB cable. And no worries if you keep the Arduino USB cable plugged in and at the same time provide power through these terminals. The Arduino circuitry is smart enough to know to ignore the power coming from the USB cable and use the power here. All this is fine and dandy, if not for one small problem. The specs for the Arduino Uno are very clear that the power supply voltage to the board should never exceed 12 volts, lest you overheat and damage some of the circuitry. So the motor shield's presumed convenience of feeding its power back through to the Arduino is actually an inconvenience if we need to power the shield with 15 volts or more. Fortunately, the folks who designed the motor shield thought about this in advance and provided a way of cutting this power connection between the motor shield and the Arduino Uno. If you turn the motor shield over, you will see a number of specifically labeled traces. Using an X-Acto knife, cut and scrape away the trace labeled V-Connect right here. Once this link is severed, power fed into the motor shield does not feed back down into the Arduino, and the Uno will be powered only by either a computer connected through the USB cable or a separate supply through here not to exceed 12 volts. Ideally, the motor shield board would have used a removable jumper for disabling the pass-through voltage instead of requiring you to cut a trace, but I guess we can't ask for everything. And now we can turn over the motor shield and insert it into the Arduino. The only other changes we need to make are to connect pin 10, on which the UNO is going to generate a DCC logic signal to control the programming track, to pin 12, which controls the direction of output channel B. And that is what we're going to connect to the programming track. Then we have to connect pin 5, on which the UNO is going to generate a DCC logic signal to control the main operations track, to pin 13, which controls the, dis the direction of output channel A on the motor shield. These connections are what very effectively converts our DCC logic signals generated here and here into bipolar signals, which are output here and here. Voila, we have a DCC++ base station. All you need to do now is connect 15 volt power supply to the terminals down here and the wire from your operations track to terminals A down here, and the wire from your programming track to terminals B over here. These are exactly the same types of connections you would have in any commercial DCC base station, with one exception. 
we can also have a USB cable plugged directly into a computer from which we can program the Arduino to perform a lot of tasks that commercial controllers can't do. And that's what puts the plus plus in DCC++. This concludes our discussion of the theory and configuration of the Arduino Uno and Arduino Motor Shield for use as a BC DCC base station. In my next series of videos, we'll discuss the DCC++ base station software, how it works, how to use it, and how to get your own copy. Until then, thanks for watching.